So, um, it is the 80th anniversary of the Joker, and as always, as they've been doing for um, Superman, for Batman last year, with Robin, uh, I forgot, I, I didn't know there was a Robin, didn't know there was a Catwoman, in fact it was, I would wear both of them, um, but they did one for Joker, uh, it's, it, it's, it's out today, and as always, it is essentially just a bunch of uh, wise and others telling short stories about ex characters and probably celebrating, uh, you know, the, in this case for Joker, the, the, the dark and twisted and, you know, this whole idea of this, uh, this character being the, like, probably the DC villain, like, the most popular DC villain, um, and the most one of the most popular villains in pop culture history and, and, and kind of celebrate that aspect of things and and some of them are hitting every single point you got some super star dark ones you get some comedic ones like the Daniel O'Neill one called um introducing the dove corpse which is essentially about joker taking a holiday at a and him joining a un peacekeeping um non-violent corp and he's and there's that coming element where joker's like so when you say no killing are you kind of seriously with that one like it's you get that comedic side of things you get um some not dark but like that kind of middle ground of darkness where it is like one call kill the Batman where like Joker's reflecting on okay Batman's dead what do I do now um where he says you know it's it's the whole thing of like you know without Batman crime has no punchline like it, there's there's that to it as well so you have and also you got um uh birthday bucks which is completely messed up but it's like that dark humor really dark humor which is about this kid's birthday party and this kid uh, thinks the joker is his dad and and how how the joke is trying to bring people together like there's part where he's trying to try and how he try he how he invents people to bring their kids to ex kids birthday party um it's just you know like, it's dark humor but it's it works, and then the media, of course, I feel bad laughing at the idea of, like, the Joker's saying to a kid that, hey, if I don't, if you don't make this the best fucking birthday party in the world, I'm going to kill your cat. Like, I know that's messed up. I know, but how, or him, no, no, I think I was laughing at it just because it, for me, reminds me of, like, Homer Simpson with the chainsaw, if that makes sense. Like, or him with the chainsaw or the knife, like, like, but you want to marry me? You know, that's why, for me, Joker, to, you, know, you know, knocking at the door saying, You're a good, do you kids know this kids? It's like that whole thing. I, I know it's messed up, you weird, you, you it'll make sense. Um, but here's the thing most of the time with these anniversary stuff, there's a couple that I'm like, oh, okay, I like this more. It's like the one I think is the weakest of the bunch is the second last one, which is by uh, Tony S. Daniel called a uh, penance, which is essentially about this guy uh, made to a priest saying he's about to kill Joker. I, I I know it's just that that one just I felt a little bit um, just a little bit blur, a little bit. Um, oh, by the the birthday bugs one previously, uh, that one was also with by uh, 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 Tom Taylor. Uh, the Paul Dini one uh, called the last uh, the last smile that's really really well done. Um, it had I love the art style from uh, Wiley, which though which is essentially looks like the anime series, which is called Paul Dini. You know, put you know was uh, one of the the, the, the I would say not one of the show ones, but kind of like one of the head people with um, I mean Craig Harley Quinn and Harley Quinn is always on that show. So, the last lot, um, that's really well, which is essentially Joker telling Harley about this nightmare about him getting electrocuted, and, and this Joker stuff, like, yeah, him calling the people who are watching him to get electrocuted as his fan club, and you're like, 
I shouldn't be laughing, but it's it's funny. <laughs> um, but the one I, I'm really like, because previously they're kind of being like hinting the future kind of thing. Um, the one I'm really curious about, and I'm probably going to start binge reading the, of, of the recent Batman stuff, uh, the uh, James Etienne, uh, the fourth uh, Batman stuff, um, just to catch up a bit, um, because he uh, has wrote, he wrote the second, uh, the, the, the second one called What Does, uh, What Comes After a Joke? That introduces character, character named Punchline, which essentially is Harley Quinn. Like it's like we can't. Harley Quinn is so f disconnected from the Joker to the point her coming back, unless you redo in your story or like context-wise, unless you. So we'll kind of create a different character that's kind of like that, and her being a fanboy, uh, basically a fangirl of the Joker, how. Her uh, and a dean, uh, a dean at her college, uh, is have been talking about. You know, you you have a choice. You decide to ch choose a a villain or a hero, and um, and how and she's kind of like fuck you, you know, you know, self expression. Um, I don't, you know, heroes heroes are boring, boring. I want to be the bad guy. Yep. And, and my mentor is the, is the ultimate one, you know, and he peeks through the closet. God, the, the first thing is there's a lot of, like, boogeyman stuff. The, the, like, you see him, um, under the bed. Because at the beginning, someone calls him the monster on, under the bed. Like, the Joker wants you to think he's the monster under the bed, and and, and he is... He becomes the monster on the bed, you know. <laughs> we're we're like, first like smiling. It's like, geez, that is a terrifying image to die to be the last thing you see. Um, yeah, it, it's just it's really well done, and I actually think the, the the last one is very meta. It's very meta by um, it's by Brian where where he did uh, he did the last one called Two Fell Into the Hornet's Nest. Um, which is essentially, I think it's meant to be meta. It's meant to be the whole idea of like his Joker, who's a psychopathic killer clown, and then somehow we kind of market him to kids. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's that whole thing. It's like he's your friendly, friendly neighbor serial killer, that kind of thing. Um, uh, I think it's meant to be a little bit of that, but um, which that was kind of interesting and weird. Um, but here's the thing: most all of them are great. All of them are great. It's it, it's just hard. It's just pick it up, pick up, man, pick it up. Yeah, you. I, I try I try to do a jungle voice here, but um, yeah. Oh, and the war between the, the war between so I so I, I kind of didn't really. It's essentially just Batman punching previous people uh, people in Joker makeup, and kind of doing a showcase of Joker for the years, like Killing Joke and, and Death Death. It, uh, death of the family and, and, and that kind of thing. Um, twice, uh, Dark Knight Returns and, and uh, I think Arkham Games and, and that. So it, yeah, it's uh, essentially what it is. And I didn't, I didn't really understand the ending. Didn't really make sense with the ending. But anyway. But yeah, all of it, we, we well, most of them really were done. I, I would pick it up. And also, if you're a fan of the character like I am, not, not as a like oh my god he's so he, I you know yeah all the guys a fan of the character as I am this is a really good celebration this is a good hey celebrate this cat of maybe the most the probably the most iconic comic book villain of all time in hell two actors one also playing playing this character for goodness